Oh, it feels so good to finally say this. Yeah. At long last, the Guthrie Theater is getting ready to reopen their doors with a brand new season. But first, they are hosting a one night only virtual benefit with a very special guest. Joining us live to chat about what's ahead, Guthrie Artistic Director Joseph Hodge. Nice to see you, Joseph. Really nice to see you. Good morning. This is uh, exciting, I'm sure, for you. We know tomorrow night this is Guthrie's free virtual benefit. So tell us uh, what's in store and who is performing. So uh, tomorrow evening we are having our annual benefit, as you say, and we have the great, great honor and pleasure of having Leslie Odom Jr. with us for the benefit, which is just thrilling. I, uh, he's doing uh, a three-set concert for us across the evening. Um, of course, he is a Tony and Grammy award-winning artist, uh, Aaron Burr in, in, um, in Hamilton. Hamilton. And, and, uh, and Leslie also, of course, was nominated for two Oscars for One Night in Miami just this year. You know, I had the opportunity to go out to Los Angeles and do a sit-down interview with him, which will be a, a part of this, uh, of the benefit tomorrow night. Um, it, the, the, the benefit marks the 15th anniversary of the Guthrie Theater, of the new building on the Mississippi River. And so it's a big night for us. And, you know, a couple of thousand people have already registered, which is thrilling. It is for free, and it's one night only. That concert only exists tomorrow night. Um, GuthrieTheater.org. Um, uh, register on the website and come join us. I think it's going to be a really, really lovely evening. There's some auction packages and fun to need, and if, if folks are in a position to be helpful uh, to help us reopen the theater, that'd be extraordinary. But uh, come join us in any event, because I think it's going to be a really, really good time. Wow, really cool. Now, that event is virtual, but next month, the Guthrie is actually opening its doors to the building back to the public. That has to be so exciting. Talk to me. What is it like? What are you looking forward to? Yeah, thank you so much for that. You know, July 8th, we, we are going to open the building to the public, as you say. You know, that building's an architectural marvel, and it also is such a community asset. You know, people love the endless bridge and the amber box on the ninth floor with all of its extraordinary views of uh, the Mississippi and downtown. So I think it's going to be really nice to be able to open the building again, have folks comfortable back in the building once again as we aim to reopen the theater for performances in the fall. Yeah, so in talking about what's coming ahead, you recently announced a new season, and yeah. there's a brand new production of A Christmas Carol. So uh, what are you planning yes. for this? Well, thank you for asking. So, you know, the, the, uh, the, the prior production of Christmas Carol has been on the boards at the Guthrie for about 10 years, and which is t very typical. We, this will be our 47th year coming up, and we typically, you know, invest meaningfully in a very, very big production of that play, and, then, uh, and we then have that production for a certain number of years. And, you know, last Christmas, uh, last holiday season, we didn't want to skip uh, a Christmas Carol in what would have been our 46th year. So we made a little film, uh, Dickens Holiday Classic, which ended up being seen all around the world and was uh, had incredible reach and was deeply affecting for folks. And I got to co-direct that movie with um, my friend and colleague E.G. Bailey. So I thought, you know, we have a lot of track here before we reopen the thrust in the holiday season. Maybe we should take this moment and make a brand new production of A Christmas Carol. So we sought an adaptation, found a brilliant one uh, by Lavina Jadwani, and I'm directing that production. You know, having made the movie, I became so conversant in the themes of the story, and as a lifelong Dickens fan, I thought, you know, I think I just want to go at this, and I'm really excited for it. I've been working with this tremendous team of designers. I think we have this big, new, thrilling production of Christmas Carol in the works, and I'll be so happy to be able to invite the public and the community back for this important holiday tradition. Kind of on that vein of, of rethinking things as you move forward, you know, it's been such a trying year. I think people are so hungry mm -hmm. for the arts to get out and, and see yeah. some of this again. How did that go into your decisions when you're crafting the rest of the season? Well, you know, it's uh, it's been this terrible, terrible scourge of a year for so many, as we know. It's been brutal. And if you do what we do for a living, um, you know, we believe that a theater means something to a community, and a community means something to a theater. And so the ability to gather folks, again, as community to share in story is important. And, and you know, many of the, the themes that run through the season are themes of uh, healing and 
forgiveness and and examination of of the moment that we're in. So you know, I'm really excited about the slate. It's it's uh, it, it's it's by turn uh, entertaining mm -hmm. and uh, and joyful and uh, and challenging. Uh, all the things uh, that a, that a good Guthrie season should hold. So I'm really I'm just really really excited for it in so many ways. Yeah, we can't wait to get back and see productions at the Guthrie. Uh, it is a pleasure talking to you, Joseph Hodge, the director there, of course, at the Guthrie. Always great to see you. Thank you so much. And, of course, the Guthrie Theater Virtual Benefit. This is what we were talking about today. This is tomorrow night. Registration is free. You can just head to GuthrieTheater.org. You see Leslie Odom Jr. is going to be uh, performing. Yay. Really exciting. They're reopening that building, too. That Amber Room is, like, one of the most Instagrammable yeah. spots mm -hmm. in the city. It it's just beautiful.